everybody. Thanks for coming back to the Farrell Golf Institute. We're here in Stanford, Connecticut. It's a little cold outside, but there's no reason why we can't work on your swing. Okay, got a lot of great feedback about the last tip I gave you, and I'm, I'm glad it helped you out. This one, I want to talk a little bit about our takeaway. Okay, a lot of times I'll see people take the club back with their hands first. All right, no good. What's going to happen there is as soon as you go with those hands, you're going to get the club behind you. Now, from this position, there's no way I'm going to swing from the inside. What I'm going to have to do is make the adjustment, push it out, and come across. There's my out to in. There's my across. There's my open face. That's my slice. All right. What I'd rather see you do is take those hands, just bring them straight back. There's your club head. There are your hands. Shafts parallel to the ground. From there, you just go up. Then it's called pull the trigger. All right. One more time. Take the club back. There's the club. There are the hands. Up. Boom. Listen. Less is more in golf. Unfortunately, everybody thinks they have to make an extra turn. You don't have to do that. If you watch it on tour, you'll see them. It doesn't even look like they're moving because they're not. They don't have the secret on us. They just know that that's the best way to make good contact. Hopefully, this tip's going to help you out. I hope you have real good days out there, warm weather, consistent golf. I'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by.